Today's mission is to discover the eight best hotspots in El Paso, Texas, the city that knows how to light up the West. It's a vibrant and dynamic city located in the far western corner of Texas, only nine miles from Duarez, Mexico. It is renowned for its rich culture, diverse cuisine, and beautiful natural landscapes. Although it is considered a border city, the city has many great neighborhoods and affordable housing. We will be exploring the best places to live in El Paso, taking into consideration factors such as median home values, median rents, median income, property taxes, population, and important places and spots. So grab your cowboy hat and let's hit the dusty trail to find the best places to live in El Paso. First on our list is Northeast. Located in the east of the Franklin Mountains and a little north of the central area, this area is known for its beautiful homes and scenic views, making it a great place for those who appreciate a picturesque lifestyle. It's a great example of the new development happening in El Paso. The Northeast was one of the first areas developed for residential housing in El Paso, so it has some older homes most of which are single-story brick homes with two to three bedrooms. The median home value is around $265,000, with a median rent of $850 for one bedroom and $910 for two bedrooms, and the median income is around $72,000. These homes are affordably priced with bigger lots and trees. The Northeast is close to Fort Bliss and the airport, which makes it a popular choice for military personnel to rent or buy. However, there is a pocket in the Northeast with a less favorable reputation, but it is not as dangerous as some may think. Next up, we have the Horizon City, it's a neighborhood located as far east as one can go in El Paso County, just north of Interstate 10 and past 375. This area is known for its large homes and spacious yards, making it a great place for families and those who enjoy a peaceful lifestyle. City is a great area for new construction and has a lot of affordable new homes. Most of these homes have been built in the last 10 to 15 years, making Horizon City the place to find new construction at an affordable price. It has a convenient location, with easy access to Interstate 10 and 375, and also has great schools, parks, and recreation centers. However, Horizon City is a newer area and is still catching up in terms of grocery stores and retail. The median home value is around $275,000 while the median rent is between $671 to $1,089, and the median income is around $72,085. Additionally, it is located in a public improvement district, which means the community has to pay for infrastructure improvements, and the new residents will have an extra financial obligation for these improvements. This could mean paying a lump sum or a yearly fee for a number of years. Far East. Obviously, it's located in the eastern side of Franklin Mountains and also considered to be in the northeast quadrant of the county. It is known for its large homes and spacious yards, making it a great place for families and those who enjoy a quiet and peaceful lifestyle. The east side is flat and has the potential for more development. This area is popular with families because of its many amenities, including parks, new schools, and proximity to Fort Bliss. The Far East is also popular with the military. However, traffic can be busy during rush hour. The price point for homes in the Far East ranges from $200,000 to almost $400,000, with a median rent of $1,050. The median income is around $80,000.
It is a great area with plenty of stores, restaurants, and other amenities nearby. It is far enough from the downtown area to feel secluded, but close enough to access downtown amenities. All right, we're now over at the west side of El Paso. As you can see, the city is really stepping up. It's a popular neighborhood located just west of downtown. This area is known for its vibrant cultural scene and dynamic entertainment options, making it an ideal place for those who enjoy an active nightlife. The excitement is visible, especially because there's now a Dutch Bros. The west side has more varied elevations, which makes it a bit trickier to build on and comes at a premium price. The average home price in El Paso is around $200,000, but if you want to get into the west side, you'll be paying closer to $225,000. Rent is around $1,000, and median income is about $75,000. However, the West Side offers better amenities, including one Whole Foods and higher-end retail. Additionally, the highest-rated schools are on the West Side. For nature lovers, it's close to the Franklin Mountains, providing ample opportunities for hiking, mountain biking, and other outdoor activities. Next on our list is Kern Place. It's an outstanding community characterized by its charming homes and lovely parks located on the west side of the Franklin Mountains and just southeast of downtown. This neighborhood is known for its beautiful homes and spacious streets, making it a great place for families to live. Although the homes in Kern are priced higher, they are worth it because of their appeal and beauty. The median home value is around $163,000, with a median rent of $875. The median income is around $60,000. The neighborhood is also in close proximity to University of Texas El Paso, leading to a lot of student housing and apartment buildings in the area. The El Paso Tennis and Swim Club is not far from the Kern Place, and some of the attractions include the Alethea Park, Madeline Park, and most famous one is the Hoover House. Moving on to downtown and El Centro. Located in the heart of the city and one of the best places for shopping and street food. It offers a unique blend of urban living and cultural heritage, making it an ideal place for those who want to experience city life at its best. For 150 years, El Paso's original shopping district, El Centro, has served both Mexicans and Americans in its main thoroughfare, El Paso Street, a market-style shopping area lines the street today, and Mexican music blares on speakers outside storefronts on weekends. There is a multitude of shops, from quinceanera dresses to handmade cowboy boots. The median property value is around $190,000, with a median rent of $1,150 per month, and the median income is around $50,000. Some of the most popular spots include the El Paso Museum of Art, the Plaza Theater, and the El Paso Symphony Orchestra. There is no trip to the district without stopping at Dave's Pawn Shop, which sells everything from gold rings to used guitars. Now, let's take a look at Manhattan Heights located just north of downtown El Paso. It is known for its spacious homes, large yards, and well-manicured lawns, making it an ideal place for families. There are many beautiful older homes in this historic district, with a large park as its anchor, as well as a library, elementary school, tennis courts, and indoor pool nearby. There is easy access to public transportation, highways, and very little traffic compared to other parts of the city. As for the area, the price range for homes is quite diverse. 
There are older, smaller homes that can cost around $100,000 and might require some renovations. On the other hand, in Sunset Heights in Manhattan Heights, homes can range from $500,000 to $700,000, creating a broad spectrum of prices. The median home value is around $195,000 while the average monthly rent is around $1,065, and the median income is around $52,000. Although many of the houses aren't well-maintained, but some are exceptional. In this historic district, there is Memorial Park, which is fantastic. Finally, we have Sunset Heights. It's a historic neighborhood located just west of downtown. This area is known for its charming homes and tree-lined streets, making it an ideal place for those who appreciate a quieter and more relaxed lifestyle. You can start the day with Viable Coffee, a bright, plant-filled coffee spot with lots of seating and flavorsome artisan coffee. It is one of the best neighborhoods to live in if you love architecture, it's conveniently located between downtown and the University of Texas at El Paso. The median home value is around $220,000, with a median rent of $844, and the median income is around $76,877. The neighborhood is mostly residential, but on the east side, you'll find the El Paso Holocaust Museum, founded in 1994 by survivor Henry Kellen to educate the public. Some of the popular attractions include the Mundy Park and the El Paso Community College. El Paso has it all, from a peaceful and tranquil lifestyle to a lively and energetic city vibe. We're thrilled to have given you a glimpse into what the city has to offer and hope this video was a helpful guide in finding your perfect El Paso home. A big thank you for tuning in, folks.